What representations has the First Minister made to the UK government regarding the provision of additional financial support to assist jobs affected by COVID-19 in Wales? We take all opportunities to make such representations. The Minister for Economy and Transport met the UK Small Business Minister on Thursday and the Secretary of State for Wales yesterday. A quadrilateral of UK governments takes place tomorrow where further representations will be made. First Minister, I'm glad to hear about the frequency of those meetings because when I first laid this question, I thought to ask you to push the UK government to provide more support for the self-employed and others who still fall outside the job support schemes available and to push them to guarantee to protect, which they shamefully fail to do in a vote of in the House of Commons this week, the £20 uplift to universal credit, which as we know goes to some of the poorest working families in Wales. But I did not foresee, First Minister, that in the course of last weekend, the Conservatives would bring forward proposals for a bonfire of workers' rights and terms and conditions, so that in the teeth of a jobs insecurity crisis, which is flowing from both leaving the EU and the global pandemic, the UK government rips away hard-won protections for ordinary working people. So First Minister, when you next meet Boris Johnson, would you ask him why working people in Ogmore and Wales should ever vote for his party when he plans to make them work longer, for less pay, and strip away their employment rights? So we will thank uh, Hugh Anke Davis for that supplementary question. Uh, when I next get an opportunity to meet with the Prime Minister, I'll certainly put those points uh, to him. Uh, people in Wales have a right to know why promises that were made are so rapidly torn up by this government. Uh, we were provided with a promise that workers' rights will be protected as we left the European Union. We see how shallow that promise was. We were promised that Wales would not be a penny worse off to leaving the European Union. That promise has been shredded time and time again, just in recent weeks. Uh, we're promised that we will get protections that other parts of the United Kingdom get. Yet when at the weekend, the UK government made very uh, great deal of fuss about the uh, support it was going to give to airports, uh, having decided that travel corridors could no longer be sustained. It turned out that while Bristol would get £8 million, Cardiff Airport is to get nothing from them. Uh, time and time again, this government fulfills that well-known saying, known everywhere in Wales, you can't trust the Tories.